All right, let's get started. Today we're talking about Sargon and the Akkadians. And the, uh, Sargon was the first Sumerian dictator. So we've traveled back to early, early Sumerian times. Um, now, uh, this story comes from the story of the world, um, which is written by Susan Wise Bauer. I'm always pulling um, it out and reading uh, pieces of this to you in class. So um, that's where the story comes from. And they're assuming that we've already learned about ancient Egypt and we haven't. So, cause the, the story of the world goes chronologically and our textbook does not. Uh, so um, that kind of gives you a background on why the beginning looks the way it does. So it starts out by saying, do you remember how the Egyptians used to be divided into two countries? There was upper Egypt and there was lower Egypt. No, you don't know that yet, but you will soon. They spent all their time and energy fighting each other over resources, the geography, right? But once King Narmer conquered lower Egypt and made the Egyptians into one country, the Egyptians could spend their time farming instead of at war with one another. Egypt grew richer and stronger. And once all the quarreling stopped, the Egyptians were united into one. The same thing happened in Mesopotamia between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. People called the Sumerians lived in Mesopotamia. You've learned a little bit about the Sumerians. They wrote picture writing called pictographs and then later cuneiform on clay tablets. The area where the Sumerians lived was called Sumer, but Sumer wasn't one country. It was filled with villages and farms. The villages grew larger and larger over time until they each grew up in two cities. Each city built thick walls and high towers to protect itself. Each city had its own king and its own army and its own government and its own way of life and culture. And the cities fought each other all the time. We call them city-states because they were cities, but they acted like separate countries. The cities put all their energy into protecting themselves from each other. But one Sumerian wanted to make all the quarreling cities into one country, just like King Narmer in Egypt. This man's name was Sargon. There are many stories about Sargon. One of the oldest stories says that he had no parents. He just floated down the Euphrates River when he was a baby in a basket. The basket got stuck in the reeds at the edge of the river near a city-state called Kish. One of the servants of the King of Kish happened to be down at the river at the time, getting water in a jug. He heard a strange noise. Where was the noise coming from? The servant found the basket. He bent down to look inside and he saw crying baby Sargon. I just like to say baby Sargon, it sounds so silly. He's kind of gruff dude. The servant took the basket back into the palace and gave it to the King of Kish. The king gave him permission to keep the baby and raise it. So Sargon grew up inside the palace. He became strong and handsome and popular with other courtiers. He even became the cupbearer of the king, which was a huge deal because you had to trust the person who was handing you your cup and know that they weren't poisoning you. At every meal, he would bring the king his wine in a golden cup. The king's cupbearer was one of the most trusted servants because it would have been easy for him to poison the king's wine, but the king of Kish trusted Sargon. He shouldn't have. Sargon made friends with the most powerful people at the palace, including the commander of his army. He became so popular that he convinced the army to follow him instead of the king. And he even persuaded the army to kill the king and make him Sargon, the ruler instead. This all happened around 2334 BCE. There's Sargon of Akkad. But that wasn't enough for Sargon. He didn't want to be king of one city. He wanted to be king of the whole land of Mesopotamia. He started to attack the cities all around him. He fought over 50 wars in order to conquer Mesopotamia but he did it. Eventually, Sargon ruled all the land between the Tigris and Euphrates River. rivers. He built a new capital city called Akkad, and his people became Akkadians. Now, Sumer was united into one country under one ruler, Sargon. 
All right, so we have some follow-up questions here. According to the story, where did the servant find baby Sargon? Also, the king of Kish shouldn't have trusted Sargon. Why? And how was Sargon successful in overthrowing the king? Whose help did he have? Like, who did he depend on in order to gain his power? And last, when Sargon created his kingdom, what did he name his capital city? All right, good luck with that. And let me know if you have any questions. Bye.